everyone, welcome back to another edition of AZ Theory. So today we're going to continue from where we left off. We were, when we were discussing this idea of a computer before. And what we noted the computer of being is we had a certain input string that was being provided to this particular machine. So let's just say some string w1, w2, w3. And what we'll assume here is that the length of the input will always be finite. We will never have an infinite length input because if it was infinite, then the computer would not be able to process the entire input in a finite amount of time anyway. There is a notion of when you want to have infinite length input, but we're not going to consider it in these set of lectures at least. And what we had is that the machine will output a zero or a one depending on what the string actually is. Depending on what the one wants, what we want the one to represent, the computer's architecture, so to speak, will have to be different. So, for example, if we wanted to, for example, say one, if the length of the input is even, then the computer's logic will have to check, hey, what is the length of this input? Is it even? And if it is even, we'll output one. And if it's odd, which is every other case, we'll output zero. So that's one particular possibility that we'll explore here. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually make one of these machines that when we provide an input, we'll start in a particular state. So remember this computer we can think of as a bunch of states and the states are related to each other based off of reading a certain character. So what we're going to do for this particular model is that the input is read once. So you can only read the input one time and cannot backtrack. And every transition between the states must consume a character. If I can spell consume. Must consume a character. So the reason for this is that we don't want the machine to ever be stuck in a particular spot. So because the input is read once and cannot backtrack, well, when we start the machine up, we have to read the first character on the first transition, second character on the second transition, and etc. all the way through. And since we can't backtrack, well, we know exactly how long the machine's going to take because each transition will consume a character and we can never backtrack to an earlier character. Cool. So... What are we going to do here? So let's suppose that we have this particular problem right here, which is we're given the input w1, w2, up to wn. And, and by the way, each of the wi's is one character. So we have a bunch of characters. Let's just say that there are n of them. And let's actually note that here. So n characters. What we got to do is to determine if n is even or not. And what we're going to assume here is that each of the wi's here is a 0 or a 1. So in other words, what, the, what this notation actually means is that each of the wi characters along the way is either a 0 or a 1. So w1 is a 0 or 1, w2 is a 0 or 1, etc. And then finally, wn is a 0 or 1. And that's just what that notation means. Okay, well, when we're making these machines, we got to always think about what are the possible cases here? What are, what are the possible things that could happen? Well, the input that we have here is either it's even or it's not. The number of characters is either even or it isn't. So that tells us that the machine really only has two possible states that it really could ever be in. Because if we have read a certain number of the characters starting from the front and marching our way through, then 
we only know so much about what the string is. So let's let's actually consider this. So let's just say we have read up to character wi and have not read the rest. So let's just say that we have read this part. So we've read only this part. And we have not read this part. Well, the only, we, we can't actually speculate what the next character is until we actually see it. So because we're only reading the input one time and we can only inspect one character at a time. So this tells us that we, as long as we are reading the string, we have to keep track of whether we have seen an even number of characters or an odd number of characters. So that tells us then we have really two states that we could be in, and I'm going to denote them by circles. So I'm going to have one of them be an even state. So if we're in the even state, we have seen so far an even number of characters. And I'm going to have an odd state, which is that we've seen an odd number of characters to start with. Okay, so now we just got to figure out where, what states are going to be the one states or the accepting states and which ones aren't. Well, let's see. Let's just say that we want to determine if n is even. So our task is to determine if n is even. If it is, then we'll output 1. And if it's not even, we will output zero. And in this terminology, we'll be in an accepting state if n is even. And if it's not, then we'll be in an non-accepting state. Cool. So, so that's nice. Well, what I'm going to do here is, well, because we're checking if the, n, the length n is even, then that tells us that n, the, this even state should be the accepting state and this odd state should not be the accept state. So I'm going to have the even be the accept state and where the double circle here is going to represent uh, accepting state. And when it has a single circle, it means a non-accept state. Cool. So now let's see. Well, before we have read any characters, we got to figure out what the start state is. When we turn on this machine, what state should we be in? We're either in the even state or the odd state. But consider the fact that we haven't read any of the characters so far. We have not seen a W1 or W2 or any, we haven't seen any characters. So that tells us that we have seen zero characters. And if you think about it, zero is even. So therefore, the even state right here should be the start state. And I'm going to denote that with this arrow that comes in from nowhere. So the that arrow means the start state here. Cool. And then now what we need to figure out is, well, if we're in the even state and the next character we see is a zero, then we figure out what to do. And if we see a one, we got to figure out what to do. Well, let's see. If we have seen an even number of characters and I see one more, that tells us that we have seen an odd number of characters. I don't care if it's a zero or, or a one. That means we have seen an odd number of characters. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna have a transition that looks like an arrow that goes from one state to another state like this. And I'm gonna have a certain label on the transition here that corresponds to what you need to read in order to take that transition in the first place. So it could either be a zero or a one. So I'm going to denote that by zero comma one. The comma here means you could either take zero going over here or you can take a one going over here. And the same idea is true for the odd state. Well, if we're in the odd state and we see either a zero or a one, that tells us that so far now we have seen an even number of characters. Odd number plus one is an even number. So that tells us that we need to come back to here to the even state on the same transitions. 
It's just that they go back to uh, the other way. They don't go over here, but the same transitions, zero and one. Cool. But let's just actually check that this machine actually works. It, it intuitively works, but let's just make sure. Let's just test it with a particular input. So let's just say that we wanted to know, let's say, that the string 000, zero, zero is a odd link string or an even link string. So let's see. Before we have read any characters whatsoever, what state are we in? Well, we got to look and see where's the start state, and it's the even state. So here's how I'm going to denote this. I'm going to put these dashed lines in here to denote what state I have read after we have read this character. So before we have read this character at all, we're in the even state right now. And then when we read the zero right here, we're now in the odd state. And then when we see we're in the odd state, then we see a zero. That means according to this diagram, we're back in the even state again. And when we're in the even state and we see a zero, according to this, we're back in the odd state. So that tells us that when we're done reading the input, we have reached the odd state, and that tells us that the input's length was odd. And we could clearly see that ourselves, but we have a little machine right here that actually does the work ourselves. And so one thing that I should mention is that note that even is an accept state, and we were in the even state twice throughout this computation. We started in the even state and then eventually went back to it and then left it again. So when is the determination made about whether we should quote unquote accept the string or not? So we will accept, if I can spell accept, accept or not accept, and here's the crucial part, after we read the entire string. So once we have read the entire string, then we make a determination about what um, what we should do with that um, that string. Should we accept it or should we should not accept it? So here's another uh, example of a machine. So I'm not going to explain what it actually does, but I want you to, as part of your assignment in some sense, I want you to put into the comments what you think this machine actually does. So I have, instead of two states, this is going to have four states. So I'm going to have them be called Q0, Q1, Q2, and Q3. The Qs here don't actually mean anything, it's just a convention. And I honestly don't know why they're called Q. Um, they really should have called them S for state, but they just happen to be called Qs. But they're just names of states. So in this particular machine, the Q0 is the start state. Notice each state has a 0 and a 1 coming out of it everywhere. And it just so happens that Q1 is an accept state, Q2 is an accept state. So for example, if we have 0, 0, 0, like we did before, then that means we were in Q0, then Q1, then Q0, then Q1. So that means that since we landed in Q1 for this string, then 0, 0, 0 is accepted in this machine, but is not accepted in this machine. So that really tells you that this machine and this machine are different. So what I want you to put into the comments below is, what do you think this machine actually does right here? What can you give an English really easy to understand explanation of what this machine actually does? And with that, I'm going to conclude for today. So if you want to support the channel, you can do so by liking the video and subscribing. There are plenty of other links in the description as well if you want to contribute in other ways. And as always, I'll see you next time.